Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta, our awesome Thursday coffee chats. We do every week, every other week, my channel, every other week, Catherine Edwards channel, my beautiful co-host here. How are you today, Catherine? I'm really good. I've had a very interesting week and um, I'm sure we'll be bringing some of that into it as we discuss today. We've got some fun, fun things to talk about. Yeah, I said to you, uh, Catherine, I know we, we kind of chit chat during the week about what we want to talk about on Thursdays. And because our coffee chats are supposed to be more casual videos of us just talking about what's on our mind, I, um, I sent you yesterday a new uh, reading from the Cassiopeia. Yeah. I will be placing in the description box below you guys so that you can look at it yourself. But they talk about just to give a little bit of a backstory to this idea of this high. And you guys, please read this all for yourself. Please read the books for yourself. This is just me paraphrasing from how I understand it. So um, always take everything with a grain of salt. But they uh, off and on have spoken about these, what they call it, what the Cassiopeians call hybrid people. And it's, in my in my opinion, using the word hybrid is a little bit misleading because it's not like a shapeshifter. Or, it's an actual human being. Um, but they've been raised underground like Agartha. And they've been basically bred to be psychopaths. And they bring them up onto the Earth's surface to try to push in a, a narrative. And they brought up in the last reading, um, they brought up something that happened, what, a, a couple of months ago? Um, they brought up this lady on the airplane. Now I don't, I'm scared to, um, I'm scared to click on any of these videos because some of these videos are owned by like the New York Post and I don't want to get a copyright strike. So I'm going to put links to this down below if you haven't seen. This video made, it made its way over to the UK too, right, Catherine? Like people in the UK. Yeah. And, and on all the social media platforms, it was everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I didn't pay much attention to it at a time for a time because I'll explain why, but I think it's really really relevant with the cassiopeian board yeah yeah she so basically for you guys who maybe missed it um this woman was on a plane i believe in dallas and i don't know if they had landed or if they were about to take off but she literally all of a sudden started having like a freak out and started screaming that this guy wasn't real uh pointing to the guy it was in she left the plane she got off the plane of course she's become uh, very much made fun of by a lot of um, by a lot of different outlets and stuff. But anyway, um, I the Cassiopeian board. Now, can you see that? I just clicked to the. Can you see that, Catherine? Yeah. All right. Cool. So I pulled up part of the Cassiopeian board um, where they're speaking about this girl on the airplane, and they're speaking about it in the term of hybrid people, as I mentioned before. So the thing about the Cassiopeian board, guys, if, if you look at it yourself, it's uh, Laura Knight is the main, who funnily enough is the uh, my boyfriend's third cousin once removed. We just figured that out. So um, he literally, it's crazy. She's been in communication with his mom and he's been following her work for all these years. So kind of crazy. But Laura Knight is the main conduit. And I believe her husband's usually with her and other people are around. So when you look at the Cassiopeian board, just to clarify, you're going to sometimes see conversation happening around a question. And so they literally, as being as transparent as possible, they literally write everything down that's said in these sessions. And so when you look at the QA, that's the question proposed to the Cassiopeians and the answer. Oh, we can't see the Cassiopeian board. Oh, you can't. So let me, no. let me, um, all right, let me go back in here and go back here and reshare. Can you, can you see it now? Yes, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So with, we have here, I pulled it down. It's from a longer reading question. Do they span different races? So this is talking about the hybrid people. Answer, yes. Question. Some of them, we know them, if they were to tell us that one of them is such a hybrid person, yes. So they're saying there are people that you're going to know the names that if we told you they were hybrid, you would know who they are. Um, question. But they're not going to. And yes. So question, why? You won't tell anyone? No. So the Cassiopeians will not tell you who these influencers are who these politicians are that are hybrid people. Why? we get People get mad at us, Catherine, for not saying names, but it's because they cannot mess with your free will. So they cannot mess with your free will. They cannot tell you who these people are. So you have to practice your own discernment to figure out who these people are and and, and not, and just question, not, you know, 
part of this, the negative side is, is a pecking order, right? Is following a leader. And so part of being in the positive side is learning your own sovereignty and learning how to have discernment. So they're not going to tell you who they are. They're just going to make you aware that it exists so that you can start to practice your discernment. Question. If we come up with a list of possible candidates, would you tell us if we were right or wrong? No. Cassiopeians, no. Question. But if this, but this woman on the plane saw something, she happened to see uh, see one of them. What did she see that made her go? They said uh, they said the energy flipping or something. Said somebody else interjecting. Another person. The energy flipped her out, and then she saw whatever she saw. And that another person. He shape shifted or something. No, no. She said the guy isn't real. It was the energy. Are there any clues that we can look for? Answer not a usual path. So that's a weird answer, right? So she goes, yeah. So in other words, following that line of questioning is not useful. Is it dangerous? Yes. So he's saying he's not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you because of free will and it's dangerous for them to tell you, but not a usual path. Okay. So there, there's something strange about these people. You're going to have to rely on your, your um, intuition to be able to figure this out. Question, I promise we won't say anything laughter. Yeah, but they know what we're saying and all, and all the time anyway. Question, I have a question. I'm not going to ask what it is, but is there something specific about them that is possible to recognize? Qu answer, they are human in appearance, but the energy is different to those who are sensitive. Question, they're just weirdos? Do they recognize each other? Yes. So the different hybrid people will recognize each other. Question, is Mark Zuckerberg one of them? The, it moves towards yes, then moves away. Oh, he should be one of those uh, cyborgs, actually. They they stopped. So basically, they just stopped, you know. Um, they were moving towards yes. Okay, say no more. All right. So it's just interesting to read this. And now we go all the way up to the top of the board. If I can find it, uh, they talk a lot about some famous people here um that we've already know are not the best um this is interesting is trudeau's trudeau's father fidel castro no no he's not i know i i believed he was for a while but the the cassiopeians have been doing this since 1994 and they have not been wrong yet so anyway all right they talk about what happened with the, our recent one of our recent presidents uh chefs that's all i'll say Anyway, they get up in the, the very top of the uh, the beginning. They start to talk about, again, these hybrid people. So basically, the girl on the plane picked up on somebody's on the plane's energy being a hybrid person. Now, they go deeper into this, saying that some of these hybrid people know they're hybrid people. Some of these pe hybrid people have their brain kind of, they don't, they just have a mission that they're on. Um, yeah. but there is, they, they ask, and I, I'm trying to find it here. Um, they, they ask about like who, where, and they, they talk about YouTube, that there are hybrid people on YouTube with big channels. And I take YouTube to mean, um, rumble telegram. I just kind of encompass it. It's, it's, it's mainstream media. Yeah. YouTube. Like there's different. So we know there's some in mainstream media, but YouTube is kind of encompassing this other social media platform. And. You know, we've been saying all along, Catherine, that obviously, you know, common sense, they're going to have infiltrators. Obviously, that's the Trojan There's infiltrators everywhere in every area of society, really. Um, why would we be any different? Exactly. So here we go. They say, are they handling members of the U.S. government? Yes. Handling high level members of other governments? Yes. Because they say that a lot of these um, hybrid people from underground um also not only do they have their own influence but they also become handlers of other people that's very interesting there's a lot of clues there um handling uh, are, are different types of like media or whatever like influencers and influencers and such yes 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 are any of them on youtube yes with large following channels yes give us one name no <laughs> mm -hmm. is part of their mission or agenda to prepare global population Revel revelation of aliens partly but also involved with depopulation agenda so these people were born underground yes and raised underground yes and then appeared as adults on the surface got a job yes and who made them lizards in cahoots with service to self orions so these are human beings their functionality they're functionally the same as human beings or other human beings like biologically the same as other human beings are not some genetic tweaks most were harvested from human mothers and incubated 
So this is part of the hy hybridization program that some experiencers or abductees recall, yes. Do they know good and evil the same way we understand it? No. Are they, from our perspective, very much like mind control beings in that senses? Do they have much free will? Yes, and, and much like very effective psychopaths. Well, 2.5 million. So there, uh, earlier they had said there are 2.5 million of these hybrid people on the globe. They pop up and down. That's, fr that's friendly. Um, where do they live normally when they're on the surface? Where do they grow up and stuff? Underground bases. And, they, and they've described those. Or what is, anyway, they keep going on. I'm not going to, I don't want to hit any trigger words, guys. So I'm going to put this link down in the description box below so you can read it for yourself. Um, but I just thought that was super, super interesting. So what are your thoughts on that, Catherine? I think there's so many bits of the jigsaw puzzle coming together for me. Now, of course, like we said, you know, um, we can think things like Trudeau's parent uh, at one stage and then get more information and change our mind and that's the whole purpose of what we're meant to be doing so i'm not saying that everything that i believe i understand now isn't going to change in the future because i really hope it does but i think a lot of these things it's like we've talked about everything about all in plain sight yeah. and about how the dark side can't create they can only mimic they they can't do real alchemy but i think it for me it all ties into understanding the laws of the universe and understanding that you can take those same laws of manifestation of alchemy and you can use them for good or bad interestingly i went to see oppenheimer the film yesterday and that is the if anyone that's seen it or haven't seen it i won't give too much away but it's the perfect example of how, in my opinion, humans go so wrong, how we focus so much of our attention in the wrong direction to service to self rather than service to others. And I did, if anyone hasn't watched the Yvette Rose um, Metaphysical Anatomy Lady interviews that I've got on my channel, please do, because I think it was in the first interview that I did with her, Bryce, you'd love it. She was saying that, look, if all these top politicians, top people in various different power positions, power does corrupt in ways that people just really, unless you've experienced it firsthand, find it really difficult to understand. And if these right. people in these positions of power, and that can be top scientists, it can be teachers, it can be politicians, it can be media people, anyone that has the power to mind control, manipulate, school teachers, you know, we know that children for at least the first seven years of their life are like sponges and completely programmable. That's why the Jesuits say, give me a child until they're seven, and I will show you the man. So yeah. the whole point about what we're seeing now is I think in one respect, it's certain people showing us what to look out for to, to just get sensitive to these energy shifts, to ask questions about loads about us. But unfortunately, I think what mainstream me what all this alternative media does, and then takes that and distracts people in completely the wrong area. So instead of us looking and sort of saying, right, what can I learn from this? What can I apply to what I'm seeing in my environment with my associates with who I might get that uneasy feeling about? We're being told, put your attention there, not in yeah. there. Exactly. And that's why the Cassiopeians will not, they, they give you information, but they're vague because they're not going to yeah. mess with your free will. They're going to allow you to take the information, to integrate it into your own being. And it's interesting. And I said, I know I, a lot of people don't like hearing this but in my opinion over the last year or so i've noticed that the quote unquote awake community the truth or community is actually more asleep than the normies yeah and the reason why i say this is because and this is a good example with what the Cassi cassiopeians are saying and integrating it into yourself being able to observe being able to self-reflect we get mad at our friends and family because they watch cnn or they watch fox or they watch the bbc <laughs> I'm just going to come back as an animal next life. I'm over humans. <laughs> um, but, but, but we ourselves, they, so our, our friends and family watch Fox, CNN, BBC, whatever. They watch mainstream media and they don't question it. But we do that too. We watch YouTube, Rumble, Telegram, and we don't question it. Where's the difference? There's no difference. And when they talk about the depopulation agenda, we know this was one, right? Okay, but, but, Let's think about this. Let's let's pull our perspective back and look at this in a big picture. We know that 72% of Americans declined this. They declined it. So that's that's quite a that's quite a conflict for the bad guys. 
Well, do you know that though? I'm going to play devil's advocate. I mean, that's the that's the stats that I've been given from the CD or I don't know if I can say that on. Yeah, but that's, that's that the company thing. that's in Atlanta. Yeah, and this is where I think it's really interesting. Is none of us really know, do we? Know. Because also, so many people have falsified their records to get yeah. out of it. And there were ways that they could do that. So how do we know? We don't know. The only thing we know is that uh, they did not convince as many people as they wanted to. Yeah. And so now they've got to go to a plan two, right? They've got to go to plan B. So we hear this stuff about med beds, right? And I've said the closest thing to a med bed we have is the ASEA. And the ASEA is going to support you where you are, and it's going to take time, and it's going to work with your body where it is. Like any good tool, like yoga, like Reiki healing, like nutrition, yeah. it's going to work with you on a gradual basis. It's not going to do the total work for you. It's going to, it's a tool to assist you. That's what I said with Jay yesterday. I, I love that ASEA doesn't mess with the nature of your body. It supports the body instead of tries to change it or, or whatever. Yeah, same with that spiritual teaching. I love that. Exactly. People a see if that's that. spiritual, a see if it's yeah. in the spiritual teachings, the med beds don't. Yeah. Because absolutely. people believe the med beds, they're gonna get in this like tanning bed like capsule, and then like what overnight they're gonna have all their problems solved. And it's so just like the med beds and and I'm sorry to interrupt, but I think just want to make a distinction that there's so many healing modalities out yeah. there already. Now, I'm not saying at all that there aren't going to continue to be better and better ones. But if you're like you and I say all the time, any quantum healing mentality, natural healing mentality, all of them are working with you, yes. not for you. Not for That's you. a fundamental difference. And it's just like we could all go to a Joe Dispenser retreat and only certain people will have miraculous healings because you have to truly believe and embody it. And that takes inner work, regardless of what the external tool regardless. is. Regardless. Right. So that's the big difference. I love that. The the positive healing tools work with, with you, not yeah. for you. But everybody's been fed this. And I don't know where it comes from because like Trump's never mentioned a med bed. No. Like who, who, where did this come from? Right. And so for three years now, people have been waiting for this med bed to appear and they keep moving the goalpost. Right. Which is a sign of a cult, by the way, a cult will move the goalpost. Um, now, with that being said, I was thinking about this yesterday. Now, I've worked in jobs and done things where dates had to be moved and changed. Like there is times when that actually so don't, every time someone changes a date, it's not always a bad thing. But with this. These people, and same with Nasara, these people kept saying, oh, well, this date, it's all going to be revealed. On this date, it's all going to be revealed. And they keep moving that goalpost. And so I'm noticing as an observer that so many people are getting sicker and sicker and sicker and more and more and more broke because they're waiting for some, some promised miracle. So how's that for a depopulation agenda? It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And I really want to say to anyone, like, this is the whole point about learning. So I used to be a really good gymnast, believe it or not. And when I'm learning gymnastics, when you're learning to somersault and things like this or do the bars, you you fall off a lot of times before you perfect that skill. So what we're talking about here is anyone who's gone from mainstream media to YouTube, I would say that's a massive step forward in your evolution. But you're not meant to stay there. Right. You don't stay at YouTube. You don't use YouTube as your only or the other alternative media platforms. So when we're saying about, you know, we're more brainwashed, it's not a shame thing at no. all. Because all of us, I get very excited about certain things and I research them and I think this, I get excited about meeting new people and I've made some real mistakes with people I've met. Because yep. what I've done is exactly what we were talking about when we go back to the example of the woman on the plane and what the Cassiopeians are talking about it is you've got to go with all of this information. You take the information, you go inside, you absorb it, you assimilate it, and then you'll either decide to keep it in there or you'll chuck it out for something better because not all the information we take in are we meant to take on board because some right. of it is misinformation. And, and if you can, as we keep saying, be not attached to which bits are right or wrong, you're going to be okay. So if this is part of your stage in the journey – that's fantastic. Just make sure you don't stay in this stage too long. You don't want to exactly. stay in too long. 
what what uh, the Cassio pans they ask repeatedly like what's the one thing human beings can do to protect themselves from this nefarious group and the one thing the Cassio pans and I'm paraphrasing say over and over and over again learn keep yes. learning just keep studying keep learning don't stop it's infinite learning yes. truth is infinite right and the, the emerald tablets if you guys are following along with the emerald tablets they speak about that in the emerald tablets as well that the information never ends it never stops when you go up to the next state of consciousness there's different areas to learn and so the minute you put yourself into a situation where you have closed your mind where you think because i'm a truther because i've seen the hoax that they did in 2020 that now i know everything and yeah. i don't and i'm gonna then you have put yourself in a position to be manipulated and used even more by the dark side right and so i i absolutely that's the one thing to cassiopeia and say over and over and over again you've got to keep learning you've got to keep studying and that's that aristotle quote that i love so much it's a sign of an intelligent mind when you can entertain an idea without accepting it so if you're somebody who has fallen for the med bed i fell for it for a little bit if you if you've fallen for it and you're having you're real triggered by that just step back for a moment and be like ask yourself what if it's not true what if it's true? yeah oh, i love it also the thing is it's a win-win situation okay so if if med beds are coming whether you believe it or not is not necessarily going to speed it up okay we could get into the law of mass manifestation and everything so that's not strictly true but you know i if they're coming they're coming so chill but if yeah. they're not coming if you keep waiting if Chisara and Asara and financial evaluations and everything if it's coming and we're all about to live in a world where we're completely out of the 3d matrix and none of us need money anymore if that's coming fantastic it's going to come to you regardless so you don't need to wait for it but the worst thing that all of us can do is to be distracted 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 in a different way and not get on and live our most both abundant in whatever now. way that is right here right now and whether we like it or not it was one of the ones i want to dust to speak about next week is whether we like it or not we are living in some definition of a matrix yeah however you define that and of course our perception on that can make us have very different realities to things but equally all the dark side we know now everyone watching this you you've between a everyone watching this there's such a huge amount of knowledge awareness um personal learning all they're doing is taking those spiritual laws and, and manipulating them for service to self but if we spend our time learning those spiritual laws and using them as service to others that's how we change the world and you can't exactly. give from an empty cup you cannot yeah. give from an empty cup so therefore fill your cup up health wise love wise abundance wise and then you can give to everyone else in need well that's the thing too when you think about like somebody who's sitting around waiting for a med bed or waiting for nasara getting sicker and sicker more and more broke there are things you can do to take care of yourself now and when mm -hmm. you get yourself in that position i want to what you're saying catherine too the negative side the fourth density negative service to self they work off of a pecking order yes so they work off of like anybody talking about a new king or queen that's coming that's all pecking order we've done royalty didn't mm -hmm. work really well the first time right like we've done that before but the fourth density positive works off what they call a social memory complex now that means everybody's energy is equally important and everybody's equally valuable now with that being said because we are in a matrix we do have some sense of a pecking order within our society there's some stuff we can't avoid but when you sit around and you wait for someone to come and save you you are making the choice to go into fourth density negative because you're you're making that choice to go into a pecking order that is you handing your power away. That's handing your power. You know, it, it it cracks me up because we got so mad at our friends and families who thought this thing was going to like save their lives. But it's no different from people in our community who think med beds are going to save their life. It's the same delusion. It's the exact same delusion. And the bad guys know this. And so part of it being here on this earth and experiencing this friction is to start to understand this so that you in areas of your life where you can take your power back, you start to do that. And it's not taking your power back. It's not in this nasty, awful way. It's just you owning yourself. It's oh, you it's so completely the opposite to yeah. the nasty, isn't it? It's like yeah. you cannot fail 
but to raise yourself up the vibrational scale um if you start taking those actions and the great thing is it's a win-win situation for you so if the revaluation comes if med chems come med beds comes all you've done is you've got yourself in a much better place to take even more advantage of it in a good way and be able to do even more good with the new health and abundance that you've got yourself so there is absolutely no downside to saying absolutely fantastic i'm putting it out to the laws of the universe that i would love this to be a thing that can help people that need it's a bit like um when you say you know conventional medicine so there is a place for conventional medicines if you have a really premature baby a steroid injection can save their life right as an example now i'm not a doctor but i'm just giving that as one example but you then do the other things as well so if you're in a car accident the surgeons will put you back together and give you a blood transfusion and keep you alive hopefully and then you can use the other tools to do it so all of these things are use the tools that are available now because if you're not using the tools that are available now you're sending a very clear energetic message out to the universe that you don't want to be healed that you don't want to be abundant that you're right. not ready to accept that that's just my reading on it it's like our actions do speak a thousand words and if you're not taking advantage of the amazing abundance that can be there if you start asking different questions or open yourself up to receiving then you're actually giving a subconscious message to people that i'm not open to receiving and you are the med bed like what's more powerful than that you are the the creator god that i believe in gave our bodies everything our bodies need to heal itself mm. and so you are that med bed why are you giving your power over to something else like that's not you know and and what and, and i said to this another person too i was like how clever are they you know they've created a whole other depopulation campaign and yeah. they've distracted you from other things like um that little black book from that island that none of us have seen yet is it i, I go for a single person to be arrested for being there and not but the people who are providing the merchandise will say we have to be careful on youtube the people providing the merchandise have been apprehended yeah but the buyers haven't been and everybody's like all has their focus now over here on these fictional miraculous promises that are coming that they're not even looking at what's really happening in front of us right now and so you know i would say if, if you guys are still wondering about now Catherine and i don't know who the don't i don't anybody asking me who's the hybrid people because as you heard the cassiopeian say they're not going to tell us they're not going to take that from you that would be service to self they need you to figure it out for yourself so i would start asking we've got, you, also, we've got our ideas who we can i have some thoughts <laughs> Actually, yeah, I told them I'm right. It doesn't mean I'm right. This no. is the whole point, you know, but we do have a laugh about it. Obviously. I did. My, actually, I told Catherine the reason why I sent it to her is because my boyfriend was like laying in bed reading the new, but he was like, oh, the Cassiopeians posted. And so he's reading on his iPad. He's got his glasses on. I'm watching something on TV. And he was like, oh my God, they're calling yeah. out. And he said someone's name. And we were like, yep. Yeah. Yep, they're calling her, call that person out. So anyway, so you guys, I would just ask, you know, if, if, if a person, what are they really telling you? Like, are they telling you to fight for yourself? Or are they telling you to sit back and wait that it's all good? You know, the people that are saying that the bad guys are gone. Now, no, most of the people saying the bad guys are gone are probably just monkey see, monkey do. They're repeating what they've heard. But that's not, if you actually sit down and research the law of one, their density is polarity. So there's always going to be good guys and bad guys, uh, black and white, uh, you know, or dark and white. You know, there's there's always going to be a polarity in third density because that's this is the density of choice, right? It's not until you get to fourth density, and we're not in fourth density yet. So obviously, and I want to remind you guys, for the controllers, they have their own moral compass that's not ours. To surrender, to capitulate, is service to others. So if they were to capitulate, they would depolarize from the negative. They haven't surrendered. They haven't capitulated. That's fake news. That's fake news. I'm choking to death on my incense stick. Just, I think that's quite funny. Someone's got a message for me. You know, when we used to record quite late at night and mine and it would dark and you could see all the smoke coming across and that's like there was definitely when you were saying that there was like someone was telling me something <laughs> just 
No, but I, I just think that's great. I mean, I mean, I want to show you guys too, before I forget, before we get to our giveaway winners, um, I did open up an affiliate link with YouTube or uh, with uh, Amazon. Um, again, you don't have to pur uh, purchase from Amazon if you don't want to. This just makes it easier. And I have books used on the show here. I'll put this link down below. Um, but it gives you a list. And so I do have the first volume, volume one of the Cassiopeians transcript there's like four volumes but i can only get x amount of stuff on this and this and then i have the first book of riding the wave which mr fox has definitely said you should probably read riding the wave first so you really understand who the cassiopeians are um i also have in here this book right here which is an incredible book it's called from paul paul to mark paleo christianity and this is by laura knight as well it's an incredible book um she's done a lot of research into the earth so anybody so the same person who channels the cassiopeians also wrote that book so that's in there guys once again if you want to order from amazon that's fine you just click on the on the link and and you can order it or you can just see it here and go into your local bookstore and look for it so i just wanted to give that before we uh, before we moved on to uh, is there anything else you can so I've got the Amazon link as well now because I've had so many people messaging me saying, what was the book you recommended? Yeah. What was that essential oil you recommended? So I think, you know, this is, the for me, the perfect example, as you said on your channel update, which I absolutely love, is of alchemy. I'm really working, and I'll, I'll you'll see how it's going for me. You couldn't, <laughs> you know, you're, the, the results will be obvious one or the other, but I'm really looking at taking all these spiritual laws and using them for service to others. And let's yeah. see what transforms with that, because so far it's going pretty well. Yeah. And I also want to say, so we did do last week, uh, we decided to give away two of these five minute journals. And before we be mine is, because it's very well used. <laughs> Well, they have, they have, actually i'm gonna have uh, okay so let me show you guys as well before we because i know they have different colors so um i have it under accessories here because the way the amazon works is they only let you put so many different you can only put so much in one category so i have just this random um and i have i believe it's under accessories i have it yeah right here so here is the five minute journal you guys and we're going to give two two copies away so they have different colors here as well oh and that's cool so because when i got mine they didn't have any other colors color so what i'm gonna do because one of our winners is a guy and so i'm gonna be i'm gonna tell you guys when you email me to collect your prize just go ahead and look at the colors and tell me which color you want um if it's available in your country i don't know where these these viewers are from just let me know so we can make sure we get you the color that you want. So are we ready for the two winners, Catherine? To be for me. Oh, so sweet. And I think this is such a brilliant prize. Just before you do the draw, I just want to say to anyone, this is an exact example of don't sit and waiting. You you know, what Bryce and I talk about, we talk about what works for us. But just using, I've had, I said to Bryce, because when she mentioned it, I've had this diary since 2014. And actually, I stopped writing in it the day before my dad died which is very significant. So it was when we talked about it last time and I went to got it out again, I was like, oh, wow, that's really interesting to look through that. But it's such a brilliant thing. So there's so many things you can be doing now because trust me, even using something like this every day will transform areas of your life. I promise you it will. So you don't have to spend a fortune on things. You'll resonate with different things at different members of your life. But I was so pleased when you brought this up, Bryce, last week, because this is a perfect example of something that every single person could do just yeah. to changing things right here, right now. Because when you write habits, my daughter, I d must just say it will fit in. She's writing a really brilliant little ebook on habits and getting people started it's amazing i'm so proud of her well that's but awesome when you start doing these things it's these little things that can really make the big difference can't Absol they bro? it's little it's absolutely it's the little things um before we announce somebody i'm with you saying that before we announce the winners too let me just show you guys real quick if, if that's not something there's i put another another book in the um let me get back here in the um accessories which is an, a, a 365 day um kind of reflective and this is meditations from the map by rolf gates and it's it, it's geared around yoga but anybody can you know i i think yoga can be done well if you're a runner too or yeah. if you're, you know so it's it's just different elements of of, of self-observing uh, with the yamas the niyamas and it's every single day 365 days so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do 
for next week on Captain's channel. I'll give two of the meditations from the mat away as well. So, um, so if you want uh, this copy of meditations from the mat, um, put uh, meditations in the comment section. I'll announce next week what I'm giving away because I've got a couple of real favorites. In fact, oh, cool. I, know, I know what it's going to be. Mine is going to be... Um, I've got a guest, um, fant absolutely fantastic guest coming up on my channel, Dom Jose Ruiz, who's oh, written wow. yeah. Shaman Power Animals. So I'm going to give away. It's a beautiful book and you can That's get awesome. it. It's lovely. So we're going to be, you know, doing these giveaways because it, oh, it's just gorgeous. And I just, it's, these books are things that I pick up all the time. Yeah. And they really make an impact. So, and if you know somebody, if you have extra money to spare and you know somebody who's struggling, get them this book, pay it forward, you know, and, and leave it for them. They Whether they choose to do it or not, it's up to them, but you can pay it forward to give them this. So the two winners are Gail Soto, 898. I hope I'm saying that right. G-A-I-L-S-O-T-O-8. Nine eight, so Gail Soto eight nine eight, and Nelson Tune Drawer seven six one eight. So that's Nelson E N E L S O N T O O N D R A W E R seven six one eight. So Gail and Nelson, I'm assuming that's your first name. Um, send me an email at esoteric Atlanta at gmail .com and I I need your address. Um, and I think I need like your contact number and stuff so I can, I'm going to just order, I'm going to send it to you from Amazon. So I'm just going to send it straight to your house and just let me know what color you want. So for, uh, Gail and Nelson, go look first, go look on the Amazon, whatever country you're in and see what colors you want and let me know so I can send you the color that you want. And then for two people next week for meditations from the mat, just put meditations in the comment section so I can see, um, these are just little things to do guys. Yeah. It takes like five minutes yeah. a day to, change, to start to change. I will say I, I, um, I told Catherine this morning, I've gotten really into watching these channels where people like clean. It's very <laughs> relaxing for me. And I heard one girl, it's like these moms with these little kids, like how they clean. And this one woman this morning was talking about how when you go through anxiety and depression, sometimes your house falls apart, you know, it gets cluttered and you become overwhelmed. So she brought up a good point. She said, if you're in that position and if you're a mom, you can't, you have to step in at some point and start doing the laundry, right? You, you've got people dependent upon you. And so she said, it doesn't matter if the dishes are overflowing in the sink or if the trash needs to be taken out or if the bathroom needs to be scrubbed, find one thing to do that you actually like doing. And if that is folding clothes, forget about the dishes in the sink for a moment. Just start folding clothes because that little task is what's going to snowball and motivate you to move to other tasks. And that's the same idea as taking five minutes to figure out what you're grateful for, what your affirmation is for the day. It's going to start to change you. It's going to start that momentum of changing you because good change usually comes at a slow pace, right? Yeah. That change never works. Yeah. So, so yeah. Is there anything else you want to Say, no, I'd just like to say thank you so much to everyone that's watching and thank you for joining us in this coffee chat. We really do appreciate your support. Let us know in the comments below what's working for you and um, what you think about the woman on the plane. and the Yeah, I was going to say, I want to know if you guys have ever been sitting by somebody and you're like, oh shit oh shit oh shit have you ever now that this is coming have you are you making like connecting the dots like there was a stranger i was by and i felt really uncomfortable you know robbie my dog does that we oh, completely. Out, he will just start he's so social and he's such a flirt he loves people but we'll be out we live in a city so there's people everywhere and he'll just start randomly barking and his hair will stick up at certain people and it's kind of embarrassing yeah. but it's um now i'm starting to wonder like is he picking up on something so um that's off doesn't mean yeah. that's a hybrid person but is there something off we want to know let us know in the comments below and we will be back next week on my channel so come join us then thanks you guys have a wonderful day we'll talk to you soon bye everybody bye